Aha, okay, and... So, my name is Lauren Sinclair, but my students have always called me Sinclair, or Mrs. Sinclair if you want to be fancy. I live in Portland, Oregon, and I teach GIS, which is digital mapping technology. I've been using ArcGIS Online to promote spatial awareness and design thinking in our school for the past four years. I collaborate with teachers in every subject to use geo inquiries. I also use ArcGIS Online to do field studies in my environmental science class. My favorite way to use ArcGIS Online is in my technology classes. I call my sixth grade technology class Intro to GIS Design. The kids learn how to design a good map, then create their own maps of our school campus. Nice. So, we like, show all the different types of like areas where you can play sports. So like, cool. I've been doing all the metadata for all of our points on the map. Awesome. I've just been putting all the different information for each sport. I had to take a photo of them and then I had to come to my mail and send it to my school email so I can get it in here. Yeah. And copy it as a PDF. And, and then, then I had to insert a photo and send it to here. Guys, this is looking great. Keep up the good work. My eighth graders focus on the suite of analysis tools in ArcGIS Online. They use the Learn ArcGIS website to learn how to use these tools. Then they study topics of their choice. Gerrymandering, climate change, and most recently, epidemics have been some of their favorite topics. Ah! Congratulations, you've been automatically enrolled in a global pandemic. Lucky you. When Portland went into quarantine in mid-March of 2020, my eighth graders were emphatic that they wanted to learn more about the COVID dashboards they were seeing. I decided to change my curriculum to help them explore how epidemics start, spread, and how we can use GIS to understand them and hopefully stop them from happening in the future. We analyzed existing maps on ArcGIS Online, practiced analysis tools through scenarios about the Black Plague and cholera, then students made their own story maps about what they had learned, connecting everything to what they were experiencing themselves. The kids were so excited about this process that I shared the curriculum with Esri, and now we're developing a video series for other students so they too can learn about mapping epidemics the way we did. We've done everything I put in this video series, and so you're going to experience it the same way they experienced it. The way we've been using ArcGIS Online in our remote classroom in Portland. I love seeing how GIS empowers students to explore their own interests and direct their own learning. I think, and my students agree, that ArcGIS Online belongs in every classroom.